For almost 10 years now, the Civitas Initiative has supported the implementation of more than 730 innovative urban mobility measures in 59 European cities. These 730 individual measures relate to the Civitas thematic groups. This video highlights urban freight measures. The delivery of goods makes up a significant share of traffic in European cities and is a major contributor to deteriorating air quality, rising carbon emissions and congestion. In accordance with European transport policies, three different types of interventions can improve city freight logistics. 1. Implementing innovative freight logistics. 2. Creating lower emission zones. 3. Using information and communication technologies as supporting tools. The electric cargo hopper, a fully CO2 neutral form of freight transport, solar-powered multi-trailer, delivers freight from a city distribution center on the outskirts of Utrecht. It has been so successful that Utrecht has just launched Cargo Hopper 2, a vehicle capable of loading up to 10 Euro pallets. It can go up to 50 kilometers per hour and can travel 250 kilometers without recharging. Bigger cities like Amsterdam, Enschede and Amersfoort have already taken the cargo hopper concept on board. Low emission zones can also be created by issuing traffic regulations on parking and loading and unloading, or regulations on weight limits on specific routes. Utrecht took restrictive measures by introducing the low emission zone for freight traffic. Time windows for freight traffic to deliver goods. Low emission zone. Fuel-based exemption permitting the use of bus lanes. Utrecht has made use of its existing canal system with the introduction of a zero emission electrical vessel known as the beer boat to transport goods to clients, shops, bars and restaurants in the city center. Building on its success, another boat, the Eco Boat, was launched in April 2012 to collect refuse from businesses on the wharves. Starting a distribution center with just a few partners is also an option. If the service proves efficient, other participants may show interest. Both Bologna and Utrecht have carried out studies in this area. More sustainable city logistics schemes require a sound and transparent communication and involvement strategy. Tallinn wanted to improve on the smooth running of the freight around the busy international port of Tallinn, with clear signage on ferries and key road portals, alongside GPS navigation technology. Truck drivers now get adequate information about available truck routes. Instructions on how to download NaviMap are shown on notice boards and on leaflets. Maps give advice on choosing the right route from or to the harbour and is updated regularly to deal with special situations such as road construction, temporary restrictions and so on. With overall strategic urban mobility planning involving citizens and other stakeholders, the Civitas Initiative aims at improving citizens' health, creating an economically viable and accessible city, ensuring safety and security. Civitas measures on urban freight strategies have not only increased insight into and the application of these measures, but have also had a positive effect on urban mobility in Civitas and other cities that benefit from the knowledge and experience gained.